What's the significance of frogs and summer and grandmother in your life? Oh. <laughs> well, ever since I was really little, I've always been a little, you know, wheeler dealer entrepreneur, and I've always um, kind of had really crazy business concepts. And even at a young age, uh, we had a family house on Fire Island, mm -hmm. and I discovered, along with my little cousin Michael, um, we used to call ourselves Double Trouble. Um, that that house underneath was just filled with frogs. So since he was small, I could probably fit underneath too. I would force him to crawl under the house and collect as many frogs yeah. as he could. And then I created, you know, in a wagon, like this great little display with a little sign and we'd sell the frogs and I would keep, I think, 90% of the profits <laughs> and give him 10. But he loved it. I mean, you yeah. know, he made five cents. We didn't sell many. I think we sold them for um, $1.50 at the time, which was huge for me, right. huge. And... Um, so that made me very happy. And I think people really honestly bought them out of pity because I kind of would look down the street and see people let them go after they bought them. But, you know, that was my first real, my real business. It was hardcore. <laughs> <laughs>